Today's video is all about how to use the rubric feature in Google Classroom. So you can see I've already created an assignment. I've uploaded the PDF I want students to edit. I've set it so they each get their own copy. And now I'm going to work on my rubric. So to do that, it starts really simple, add, and this is a brand new rubric, so I'm going to create it. And it brings up your rubric editor. So the first thing you need to do is you need to decide how many different criteria are you using to grade this activity. And then you start plugging it in. All right, so my criteria is labeling. And then an extra description is I'm looking for them to accurately label each step in the water cycle. Now for this activity, there are four different steps, so I'm actually going to give them four possible points. All right, so here you can see my four different levels, the point values for each level, and a short description that helps the students know what they need to do to get those different points. Now, let's say I wanted to add another criteria that I'm going to grade them on. All I do, come down here, plus add criteria, and then you repeat the same steps. You give a name for the criterion, you give a description, and the points required. And for this criterion, they need to add in the arrows that show the water cycle. And because that's either you have them or you don't, there's just two levels of this for the rubric. It's either yes or it's no. And then when I'm happy with my rubric, so this one, it totals up possible of four points, possible of one point. So you can see at the top here, overall, they could possibly get five points. And then I'm going to click save. And it attaches itself here. I can click it again. This is my overall view of it once it's been formatted into the rubric version and double check that I'm happy with my rubric for my students. When I'm happy, I go ahead and I assign. And now the rubric use is just as easy when you're giving feedback to your students. You click back into your activity, you go to the one that's turned it in, and then right down the side, of your view of their assignment, you have your rubric. And if you need to know more specific information, you can just click the down arrow and it gives you all your descriptions here. And then you just tap. So this student, none of them were labeled correctly. And this student did not draw any arrows. And therefore, this student gets a zero out of five according to the rubric and then I click return to them and they get that feedback within a minute or two and they can go ahead and make changes and revise it. So that's it. It's a really simple, powerful way to give feedback to your students and make your life easier.